the homies. It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And today we're going to talk about a transgender woman that escaped death. Okay? Listen, when you, I don't care who you are. All right? When you are on these dating apps, you guys have to be careful because that's where a lot of the horror stories come from. People meeting on dating apps. You have to be careful. There's a lot of sick people out there in this world. So let's go ahead and get into the story. A transgender woman says she had her throat slit during a first date with a man she met on a dating app. Cordell Stewart, 24 years old, is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon for the attack that happened on September 20th. The 22-year-old victim, Taylor Smith, says she has been on dating apps before but has never met up with anyone in person. She describes Stuart as a gentleman before their date and says she didn't see any red flags. Now, a couple days after meeting and texting with Stuart, she says she invited him to her home in Southeast Houston. Before the two met, Smith said that Stuart, you know, she told Stuart that she was a transgender didn't have any issues i would never not tell a person she said this was something discussed way before we even started having a conversation now according to smith stewart arrived at her home around 5 p.m with a backpack smith said she searched the bag but only found clothes inside now if they never met up before never never meet up someone at your house if you never met them before. And this just goes out to everybody, okay? Now, while they were together, she said the two watched a movie, they ate dinner together, and they cuddled. Smith said about five hours later, the two began kissing before he pinned her hands under his knees, pulled out a knife, and slit her throat. I guess it was in his shorts and he just slit my throat at the same time as he has my mouth covered. From there, Smith describes a violent brawl that ensued. She said Stuart beat her up as they battled over the knife. At this point, I'm like, oh my gosh, Taylor, if you don't fight back, you're going to die. He's going to get this knife out of your hands and he's going to stab you to death. That's all she could remember saying to herself. Now, Stuart Mushot, you know, what you're going to see in my commentary, shows he has some scratches on his face, and it seems like he got some blood stains on his face as well. Smith says she was able to reach neighbors for help. Stuart was arrested hours later and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He remains in Harris County Jail, on a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar bond, Smith received stitches in her neck and hand before grab, before she grabbed the knife. You know, during the fight, when asked if she thought Stuart was trying to kill her, Smith said, "I know he was trying to kill me. I don't think anything. I know he was trying to kill me. If that knife was a little bit sharper." I would have been dead. Smith says she does not believe she was attacked because she was transgender. Stuart was aware before the confrontation, she said. I still want to know what it is. Smith said, I cooked for him. I prayed over our food and we enjoyed each other's company. We laughed together. Before inviting him over, Smith said she did not know about private charges that Stewart was facing. Now, court records in Galveston show that Cordell Stewart was charged with murder in 2020. He was accused of shooting and killing a man during a sale of shoes. The case was dismissed in April of 2023. Records cite that an eyewitness, a surviving victim of the shooting, refused to cooperate. The Galveston County District Attorney's Office said they had no option other than to drop the charges when the witness decided not to cooperate. Still, they do have the option to refile the case 
if the witness decides to cooperate. Cordell Stewart was also charged in 2022 for having a shank or a makeshift knife in jail. He pleaded guilty in the case and was given credit for time served. Please search their names, Smith said, about using dating apps. I feel like if I would have searched his name up and I would have seen that, I probably would have been like, no. Do your background checks and just be safe. Stewart's um, hired defense attorney declined to comment. Now, he was expected back in court on January 17th. So I'm going to do an update and let you guys know you know, what his status is. But, oh, my God, that is just so scary. Listen, people, you got to be careful out here. You have to be careful out here. There's some sick people out here. You know, this man, Cordell Stewart, he has a killing nature. He has a killing spirit. All right? Now, Taylor Smith, she told him what it was. Listen, I'm a transgender woman. She let it be known. She didn't hide that from him. And he seemed like he was okay with that. And he went there with ill intentions. He went there to kill her. Okay. But I'm so glad she survived. I hope she's doing well now. This is just a scary situation that I wouldn't wish for anybody to be in. This could happen to anybody. And the next time... You know, you out there dating and stuff. Please don't invite nobody to your home. You know, your home is supposed to be your safe space. If you meet, this goes for everybody. If you meet the guy online, listen, meet them at a hotel. Meet them in public first to get a feel of them. And then, you know, if you want to go back somewhere, go back to the hotel. That way he doesn't know where you live. Okay, don't even go to his house because he can get you in his home and do all kinds of ungodly things to you and you'll never see the, the next day. So you have to be careful. But anyway, you guys, that's all I have in this story that I wanted to share. All right, and if I've, I'm going to search for an update to see what's going on with Mr. Cordell Smith, um, Stewart. And I'll get back to you later. Bye. Oh,